Over the many years of me trying to go from being completely broke to rich, there's certain things that have stopped me along that journey. And if you guys have been watching me for some time, you know that I grew up with a single mum that tried her best to give me the life that I needed. I grew up in public housing and I was able to move out of my mum's basement to now live in the life that I want in my own apartment, traveling the world to whatever location I want to go to. I get to drive the car that I want to drive and I've got various different sources of online income. But along my journey, there's certain things that almost stopped me and tried to keep me poor. And that's exactly what I'm going to be talking about in today's video so that you guys can avoid it. Let's go. What's going on people? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Sam and what I do here is break down various different tips and tricks when it comes to making money online. In today's video, what I'm going to be doing is going through around four, maybe five things that you guys need to avoid if you're trying to go from being completely broke to living a rich lifestyle or even if you just want to make a little bit more money, these are the things that you need to avoid, the mental things, the mindset things that you need to be aware of on your journey to becoming a richer version of yourself. Make sure you watch the whole video from start to finish so that you don't miss anything because these are the things that I wish I knew from the very beginning when I first started my online business because it would have sped up the whole process and allowed me to get to the position that I was trying to get to a lot more quicker. As always, I don't wanna waste any more time. I wanna get right into it. So if you find any value in the video, don't forget to press the like button. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell notification. Let's jump straight into the video. So the first thing that you guys need to be aware of that's potentially going to keep you poor and it's gonna stop you from becoming rich is self-sabotage. Now, this is a term that I recently heard. Of course, I was aware of it and I was aware of the characteristics of it, but the term self-sabotage is not something that I heard maybe until two months ago, three months ago. And it's something that definitely hit home with me because this is something that slows a lot of people down from becoming their greatest version. Now, if you don't know what self-sabotage is, it's basically where you tell yourself within your mind that you're not capable of achieving what you're trying to achieve. You're either gonna tell yourself that you're not good enough or you're gonna tell yourself that you're not capable of doing it and it's for someone else. And it's basically a way for you to stay in the same position that you're in. Because the way that the human brain works, specifically the ego, is that it wants to keep you in the same position. It doesn't really want you to step outside of the box. It doesn't want you to do anything different. And that's the reason why whenever you try to make a change or whenever you try to do something that's a little bit out of your comfort zone, you start to tell yourself that you're not capable of doing it. And I see this happen with so many different people. Whether it's an e-commerce business they want to start or a YouTube channel, they start it one minute, you know, maybe do it for a couple of weeks, maybe even a month. But then after some time, they start to tell themselves that they're not the ones that's gonna make it happen. Success is for someone else, but it's not for them. And this has even happened with me along my journey and it still happens today. I'm always thinking that, you know, people like Elon Musk or people like Jeff Bezos are the ones that are made to build big businesses, but I'm not really capable of doing it. Or even if it's something to do with YouTube, I'm always looking at the biggest YouTubers that have 100,000 subscribers, 200,000 subscribers. And I think that, am I really ever gonna to get to that point? But that's self-sabotage trying to keep you in the same position. And that's why it's very important for you to be aware of this term self-sabotage sabotage because you're going to be able to catch yourself when you're thinking this way. Because now I'm aware of it and I know that it's something that we do as humans, I'm able to stop myself from thinking like this so that I'm able to continue going and not necessarily find ways to slow my progress down. Moving on to one of the next things that's potentially keeping you poor and it's stopping you from becoming rich is not working towards your goals every single day. Now, one of the things that I learned along my journey when I was trying to, you know, move out of my mum's house and live in my own apartment, drive my own car, have a certain amount of money, is that you need to work towards your goal every single day, Monday to Friday, especially when you're in the beginning stages of building it up. This is something that I learned very early on and it's something that I've applied to every single online business that I've done ever since. So whether it's my e-commerce business or for example, this YouTube channel, let's say, every single day for the whole of 2022, I've released a video without fail and I'm around 20 videos ahead of schedule right now because I'm working towards building up this YouTube channel every day without fail. I'd rather do this than watch TV or do something that's not going to contribute to my goal in one way or another. So whatever goal that you currently have or whatever plan you currently have when it comes to going from being broke to being rich, you need to work towards it Monday to Friday in one way or another, even if it's something small, even if it's something big, but you just need to do something towards it. So I'm not necessarily recording videos every day, but what I do is that maybe on a Monday, I might record four videos. And then on a Wednesday, I record three videos. On a Friday, I might record five videos. But in between that time, I'm either working on my email marketing, I'm either working on content creation ideas, you know, various different things that I'm working on. Or my e-commerce business, for example, I work on that every single day as well. I'm always doing something towards every single thing that I'm trying to make big, every single thing that has the potential to bring money into my life. I work on it 
every day. And this is something that you should be doing, especially in the early days when you're trying to build it up, even if you're working a nine to five job. Like for example, when I was working my nine to five job, in the morning before I left for work, in the evening when I came back from work and sometimes even during work, I was working on something to do with my e-commerce business. Whether that was finding winning products, contacting suppliers, listing products on my eBay store or my Shopify website or my Amazon store, I was always doing something towards building up that particular business. And this is the mistake that you're probably making. If you're watching this video, you're probably trying to go from being broke to rich. And the mistake that you're probably making right now is that you're not doing something, even if it's small, but you're not doing something when it comes to building your business and building up your income. Instead of you watching Netflix or mindlessly scrolling through TikTok or Instagram, it'll be better for you to put that time and that effort into building up your income. And that's why it's important for you to make sure that you're doing something towards your business every single day. Moving on to the third thing that's possibly keeping you poor and stopping you from becoming rich is that you're working really hard, but you're not necessarily working smart. And when it came to the differences between working hard and working smart, this is something that I learned after I started my business, maybe two to three years, I didn't even realize that there was something called working hard and working smart. And that's the reason why I'm letting you guys, if you are at the start of your own journey. Now, when I say working hard, this is where you're gonna be putting in a lot of effort. You're gonna be doing something every single day, but you're not gonna be doing something that's actually going to move the needle with whatever you're trying to do. And working smart is where you properly think about what you can do and what effort you can put into your online business that's actually going to bring the biggest result. And this is a concept that I learned from the 80-20 rule. So the 80-20 rule, simply states that 80% of your results come from 20% of your effort and that's why it's better for you to figure out what result you're getting which result you're trying to get and put your effort and your energy into that rather than putting your energy and your effort into something that's not really going to bring any result into increasing your income and getting you on the path of becoming rich so for example let's use an e-commerce business to illustrate my point specifically an ebay business as soon as i found out about the 80 20 rule i realized that majority of the revenue that my ebay business was making came from me listing products specifically winning products the results that i was getting was coming from me spending time doing my bookkeeping or customer service or things like that of course they're very important but the money that i was making was a direct correlation of the amount of items that i was listing on my ebay store so of course it made more sense for me to put more energy into that or if we look at a youtube channel for example the success that i'm potentially going to get is going to come from me sitting down recording videos making sure that it's videos that's going to help people and publishing videos that's where my success is going to come from specifically with a youtube channel but the success isn't going to come from me let's say editing videos again this is a very important part of the entire thing but it's not something that i need to spend three to four hours doing for me to get the final result of what i'm trying to get so it might make more sense for me to outsource that to someone else but overall the point that i'm trying to make is that you need to figure out with whatever online business or business that you're trying to do you need to figure out what is the thing that's going to move the needle and bring the biggest result and then focus your energy on doing that every single day and it's all about trying to work smarter rather than working harder and moving on to one of the final things that i'm going to talk about in today's video that's possibly keeping you in a poor mindset and stopping you from becoming wealthy is shiny object syndrome now, this is a term that you've probably heard of before, but if you've never heard of it, basically what it is, is where you always think the grass is greener on the other side, specifically when it comes to starting a business and building up your business. Now, again, this is something that I've been faced with myself. Every single time I'm running a business, I'm always thinking that another business is better than the one I'm actually doing. All what I tend to do is focus on the problems that I'm dealing with, with my business and always think that the problems that someone else is dealing with are not necessarily the same ones that I'm dealing with. But one thing that I've learned over my many years of trying to go from being broke to rich is that the grass isn't greener on the other side all the time. There's always gonna be issues. And if something's working out for you in the moment and you're starting to get some sort of momentum, it will be better for you to stick with that rather than always jumping from one business idea to the next. And this is something that I see with so many people. From the moment that I started this channel, people will message me and say, Sam, I'm gonna start eBay dropshipping. I believe I can do it. I've got it in me to succeed. And then the following week, I'll follow up with them and say, how's it going? They'll say, I'm doing cryptocurrency trading now eBay dropshipping wasn't for me. And then the week after that, I say, how's the cryptocurrency trading going? And they'll say that they're doing Forex trading now. And then the week after that, I'll say, how's the Forex trading going? They'll say that they're working a nine to five job now. They're always trying to jump from one thing to the next and they're not able to stick with stuff. So if you're currently trying to go from a position where you don't really have a lot of money and you're trying to make a little bit more money, it'll be better for you to stick with one business idea that you know can potentially work because you've seen someone else do it and then do it for at least five months consistently every single day work on it 
learn about it before you completely give up. This is what I told myself anyway, maybe five years ago, six years ago, that it's better to focus on one thing. And that's what I've done now with majority of the businesses that I'm building up. I've stuck with them. I've made sure that I've put all my effort into them. Even if I hit an obstacle, I try and solve the obstacle rather than jumping over to a completely brand new business where I'm gonna have to learn everything all over again. Always try to remember that becoming wealthy isn't really hard. It's all about knowing what mental obstacles to stay away from and what mental pitfalls to overcome. Once you do that and you stay committed and you have self-belief, before you know it, you're gonna be living the life of your dreams. Now, if you've enjoyed this video so far, don't forget to press the like button and don't forget to subscribe as well for more inspirational and motivational content that's gonna help you on your journey. Comment down below as well. Let me know what you thought of the video. If you've got any questions at all, comment it down below because I'm trying my best to respond back to as many people as possible. And if you wanna watch another video that I made not too long ago where I broke down how I reprogrammed my subscription conscious mind and use the law of attraction to live the life of my dreams and get on the path that I'm on right now even though I'm not where I want to be but I was able to change my life to go from being broke to rich using a specific law of attraction trick then click right there make sure you watch that video straight after this one because it's helped out so many people and I've gotten a lot of good feedback from it all right guys I'll see you on the next one make sure you stay safe out there peace